Okay, hey guys, what's up? It's Matt Alex, and wait, I gotta finish, I gotta fix my leather blanket. Hold on, just one second. See, and then I'm gonna try and turn the light off. See what it looks like with the lights off? I think it'll look stupid. Wait, why does it actually like not look that bad? It actually looks kinda cool. Should I film like this? What the fuck? Or do we need the lights on? What should we do, y'all? What should we do? Lights on. Lights on? Yeah, lights on. Okay. So, guys, it is three years of lover. Like, I literally cannot believe it. The fuck? I literally cannot believe it. Lover. Okay. What the fuck was that? Okay. Lover is um, the best pop album of all time. It's better than 1999. And better than reputation yes i went there yes it is and i just want to go over this video of how much lover means to me why it's over over hated but underrated at the same time and yeah so and then i'm going to do some ranking my ranking or like slash like unpopular opinions and like maybe even what love our fest could have been so yeah so let's just start off with the ranking because i feel like that's the most basic thing so let's get that out of the way okay so my ranking is i'm just gonna do my top seven <laughs> okay so we have cruel summer cornelia street afterglow death by the house of cuts miss mercana and the heartbreak prince london boy okay and then we have daylight right um you could put i think he knows up there as well um and yeah so and the archer and the archer and the archer of course the archer the archer is number one hands down and the cruel summer death by the thousand cuts cornelia street afterglow death by a thousand cuts and daylight and i think he knows in london boy probably top seven or eight however i don't know whatever that's my top right now um now the songs that i really don't gravitate towards to and i love lover as well and the man the songs i don't really gravitate to are false god um i don't really like that song actually at all me i know i pretend to love it three years ago newsflash i really don't <laughs> um it's nice to have a friend it's tolerable it's tolerable i can hear it but i'm not like gonna go out of my way to listen to it and yeah, I like I do like I forgot you existed. It's actually kind of nostalgic for me. It like gives me that nostalgic vibe. And my lips tongue died for you at living in my mind. But then something happened one magical night. I forgot that you existed. And I thought that would kill me, but it didn't. And it was so nice. So peaceful and quiet. Okay. So yeah, and then Loverfest. What I think Loverfest would have been, I genuinely think Loverfest would have been as big, if not bigger, than Reputation Tour. Um, now, I actually am lucky, and my mom and I did attend the Reputation Stadium Tour. Actually, in about five days, maybe a week or so, it'll be four years since we saw Taylor last. And, um, and I think Lover is so nostalgic because it was the last album before COVID. It was the last, like, normal album we got that like um anything before anything happened obviously and then it was the first one that taylor owned which is like iconic in itself right like it's, duh, it's iconic and, like it's like it's, like she like, said fuck y'all it's a big machine i'm coming back um and like i think a lot of people like think like lover is like the cu cupcake album but like i mean it is but it's not at the same time like it is but it's not and i think lara fest would have been so beautiful i think she would have had like because i don't know if you noticed but, like i think she like chooses her mics she has the reputation era so there was four mics in the reputation or in the lover era we got the gold one we got the purple one we got the black one that's a lover on it and then there was one more was it the sander pink one uh, so there's the purple the gold sander pink and the lover yeah so those four right there and so obviously she tries to coordinate them with her outfits so we probably would have got another purple outfit purple outfit she wore that for good morning america right one never got released actually yesterday 
um, three years ago yesterday, she had it. And then, um, she did the pink one, which is like the standard pink one that everyone has, and then she wore that for the Amazon Day Prime thing. And then she had the gold one on the VMAs, and then she had the standard lover one for the AMA, or not the AMAs. Is it, yeah, maybe it was the AMAs, when she won Ars the Decade at the AMAs. Which is either Ars the Decade performance, and she had, like, yeah. And when she wore the, like, iconic white, the one she, the one where she records all of her albums, yeah, that, like, that iconic one. Um, and I think Lover Fest would have been so much fun. And then, like, she performed Christmas Tree Farm live twice. Um, only two times. She performed the Archer live four times, which I thought it was three. Or no, actually, I thought it was two. No, maybe what? But I thought it was three. Live in Paris, right? The first time she did it, like, acoustically on the couch. And then at Live Lounge. What was the fourth one? What was the fourth one? I don't know the fourth one. Which is odd. I'm so sorry, geez. If you know, let me know because I don't know what it is. Okay, I'm right here, bitch. Right here. Right here. Oh my gosh. Excuse me. Okay, yeah. And then, so Lover Ranked, I think Lover Fest would have been so iconic. It's such a shame. Like, I look back at this so much and I'm like, what a shame. Like, what could have been? Like, we, we, we don't know what Taylor had planned. And it said Anne Friends, too. I think a lot of the Anne Friends, like Selena Gomez, like the obvious ones, but I feel like there's some really, like, low key ones that people, like, wouldn't expect to own. Maybe like Blackpink or something, or like BTS or something, like something like subliminal like them, and I would have been fine with either them, I love them both, obviously. But yeah, it's just a shame that we never got it, and we never, we haven't had a tourist in the reputation, guys. We've had technically three, five if you include the re-records, which, actually no, you can't because the Vault songs have never been performed live, so I guess you could count those. So there's only like five albums we've never heard live. I mean, we've heard obviously all of Red and all of Fearless, or majority of Red and majority of Fearless, because some songs were cut from the set list, obviously. But like... Isn't it so sad? But guys, this is the thing that I don't know if I've ever talked about or seen anyone talk about, but I genuinely think on the Reputation Stadium tour, I think her performing an acoustic song live every night, ours was jumper than fall for our show. I think that might have been an Easter egg for her re-recording. I don't think I've seen anyone talk about that, but like, I genuinely think about it. Was, I mean, think about it. It was the last time before her contract was up. She probably knew it was the end. She probably knew she was going to have to do it eventually. So I feel like she kind of sprinkled that in there to perform the live one last time before she like couldn't think about it right i don't think i've seen anyone talk about it it's just a theory that are coming obviously it's just theory like duh but like you know like it could it's very very and i have death lazlin called pakatian so coral like this coral color is so beautiful i like her name right there isn't it so pretty you guys like, i love this shirt so much it's so pretty yeah, it's so pretty i was gonna wear my coral summer one this one the yellow one because i got this one too fucking i and then i got my other plus uniform guys <laughs> Yes, I love it so much. I actually like the green one more, but like she was, she had like one of these left, so I bought it. Of course, I said what I said, like this cherry red color. I love this color so much. It's like one of, one of my favorites as well. But yeah, I said what I said. I don't know why it's not focusing. This piece of fucking shit. Yeah, I said what I said. Iconic. On the back of her on the back. Oh my God, that's the front. Okay, and then the back of her right here. Like it's so iconic. It's so iconic. And then I had my lover vinyl playing, because I was playing it, but it skips. I need to buy a new one, you guys. Like, I really need to buy a new one, but can you guys see it right there? Yeah, it's, like, I think it's, it skips during the Archer. It skips during Cornelia Street, which is really annoying. I even think it skips during Miss Americana as well, which is really fucking irritating. So I need to buy, um, a new vinyl for a lover, because, it's actually, I think my, my aunt bought me lover vinyl, because he traded something. So... Um, she bought me the lower vinyl and I bought something and then we traded it. I felt like maybe more the Sogo and then we traded it. So yeah guys, um, what else? I know there's other stuff that I had to talk to you guys about, about Lover. I don't know if there's gonna be a list of this video guys, by the way, so if you haven't already subscribed, make sure to subscribe to these. Make sure to subscribe to these. Make sure to subscribe to these. Um, but I know that, um, hold on. What the fuck is this? Well, this fucker hasn't said anything. Um, fuck. Um, so, where is it? Yeah, like, I'll never get over Loverfest, you guys. Not happening. Like, I never will. Like, Loverfest could have been so iconic, and it literally never happened. But then we would have never got folklore and evermore if it wasn't for COVID. So it's like a blessing in disguise, kind of, sort of. Like, kind of, sort of, right? Um, we literally never got either of them. Um, hold on, why isn't it in here? Did I put it on my other iPad? <laughs> I don't know, because I had, like, a, um, some ideas that I wanted to put. By the way, I'm back on Twitter again. For the fourth time. 
Um, yeah, those are Nazis. Um, but I caught what I did wrong last time, and I fixed it. Okay, yeah, overhated. It is overrated. Overhated, not overrated. It's overhated and underrated. Um, it is so nostalgic. Yeah, and, like, Lover is better than Reputation, you guys. And I, like, can't believe it. Like, it's just, like, what could have been, you know? Like, what could have been? You know, we gotta make a thumbnail. Hold on one second, you guys. Um, like, what could have been for Lover Fest, you guys? And then, of course, you have my Archer hat. I still can't believe I fucking found this, you guys. Like, I never, ever, 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 ever see these go for sale. And the fact that I found one... And you guys know how much the Archer means to me with the fact that I found one. Like, maybe I put the Archer head on. Look at the hair. Yeah. Thumbnail. But yeah, you guys, like, it's so beautiful. And I love this picture of her as well. Maybe I'm showing you guys like some of my favorites, like Lover merch. Um, should I do that? Should we do that to make this like extend the video, you guys? Should we do that? We will. Um, maybe we will. Um, I don't know. Should I? No, maybe not. Cause no, cause I think some of this is dirty. And I have to wash it, and it's like some of my favorites is, is in there. So no, I can't do that. Um, I mean, one of them is a jealous wing. Hey, sweetie, I have all my Archer merch, all my Archer jewelry. Uh, I have every necklace of the Archer but the Rose Gold which I've been eyeing that one. I've thinking about buying it. I've been thinking about it, you guys. Yes, I have. Um, and, like, you guys, it feels so good to see Twitter notifications come up again. You guys don't even know. Like, it literally feels so good. Like, you guys can't see who liked my tweet, but, like, it just feels so good to, like, see Twitter notifications again. But, yeah, you guys, like, I literally can't believe it's been three years. And you guys, fun fact, the, um, this isn't the first reaction video I did, but it's the first Taylor reaction I did, and the first, like, reaction I did with, like, an actual camera. It was The Archer, three years ago, July 23rd, when it came out. It's the first reaction I did, Taylor reaction. Not first reaction I did in general, but, like, first reaction I did with the new camera, or with a camera. And then with, it was the first Taylor reaction I did, The Archer. Because I did Melanie one back in the day, like, Melanie Martinez. I did one for my head or back in the day. Um... But yeah, like it's so sad what Lover Fest could have been, you guys. Like, what do you guys think would have been? I think, like, she would have like different stages and like the heart stage and stuff. I think some songs would have been cut from the set list. But while we're on the topic of like songs that have been cut from the set list, we're gonna go over songs that can be cut from the track list. I forgot that you just said no, keep, cruel summer, keep, lover, keep, the man. I'm indifferent too. Like, I do like the song, but I don't know if I love it. So, you know what? I think we'll keep it. The Archer will keep. I think he knows keep. Miss Americana, keep. Paper Rings. That is another song that I'm not really... I don't like the cat, or I love the cat reference, but I don't love the mouse reference, necessarily. Um, so, it's... I could go either way on that. Pay... Cornelia Street, keep. Death Thousand Thoughts, keep. Lund Boy, keep. Soon you'll get better. Um, it's too sad, so I don't ever listen to it, so I guess we can get rid of it. A False God, we can get rid of it. You need to calm down, we can keep. After Glow, one of my favorites, obviously, keep. Me, get rid of. It's nice of a friend, I can go either way. Daylight, keep. So, yeah, um... I love Lover the way it is, though. I would not change anything about it, even though there's some songs that I really gravitate towards, but I still love it. Afterglow and, like, Della Bows and the Cuts, The Archer, Miss Americana, um, Daylight, and, um, I don't know. Like, I love it so much, you guys. So, like, everyone's, like... And, like, even London Boy is so good. Like, it's one of my favorites. Like, I love London Boy so much. I'm making a thumbnail, you guys. Um, but yeah, even the back is so pretty. And, like, I love the inner of the vinyl so much. It's so pretty. Like, look at this, you guys. It's so pretty. It's so beautiful. Okay, guys, that is it, I believe. I know this isn't, like, my, like, haha -ha energy video because I didn't eat or drink anything, so that's probably why. But I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in the next video. I might film the last video this week. I don't know. I do have a little mini list, and it's more serious. This video, actually, I think... And then, oh yeah, my Archer hat is another one of my favorites as well. Even though I said Archer merch, but like, it's still one of my favorites. And then her name embroidered on the back as well. It's so beautiful. I love it so much. Okay, you guys, I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys in the next video.